Hello there, fellow maker. Welcome down to my shop. I'm Bill, and today I'm going to show you how I wired up these lights, these eye lights for Britney's sweeper robot. Not only do these eyes light up, but they also blink. Britney's working super hard to get her sweeper robot done for Dragon Con, so I jumped in to help out by doing all the wiring and batteries on this helmet. So let's get started. First, the lights that we're using are little self-contained LED battery combos that I picked up a while back in bulk. I've got a ton of these things. Inside that little light housing were three 1.5 volt batteries and a pre-soldered LED. Since this circuit was already running on a total of 4.5 volts, I plan to run all of the lights off of three AAA batteries. Some quick testing confirmed which terminals were positive and negative. Then I cut a little groove in that pre-soldered LED board to make room for my wires using a rotary tool. I cut a couple of lengths of wire, stripped the ends, and then pre-tinned those wire ends and the spots where they would connect to the LED. This pre-tinning made soldering the wires to the LED super quick and easy. Next, the wired up LED was secured back into the light housing with a little bit of hot glue, both on the light end and the end where the wires were dangling out. This made sure the wires wouldn't come loose. Then I twisted up the wires using a power drill to keep them nice and tidy. I repeated this process for the remaining three lights. Since my battery holder didn't have its own switch, I soldered in my own switch on one of the leads. This was then hot glued onto the battery holder. Also at this point, I figured it was a good idea to test my circuit to make sure all of my soldering points were nice and secure. I then laid out a basic map for where all of these components would end up inside of Brittany's helmet. To make the eyes blink, I used a momentary NC switch. This is a switch that is always on, except for when you push the button, which interrupts the circuit. At this point, the helmet wasn't done yet, so I wired up everything with connectors so that it could be taken apart when it needed to be installed in the helmet. Each set of lights on either side of the head were wired up in parallel to one another and then soldered onto a Dean's connector. I found that a paste flux was incredibly handy for pre-tending the terminals on these connectors. I also used some heat shrink tubing to protect and strengthen my solder joints. The other sides of these Dean connectors got their own lead wires that were also soldered together in parallel. These were connected to the battery using crimped on spade connectors. This made it possible to take the wires apart if necessary. I made sure to include the momentary switch in the circuit and to attach the connectors in a way that they could all be hooked up in the correct manner. I also hot glued the wires to the connector because I didn't think they were strong enough. A quick test showed that the entire circuit still worked and it was ready to be installed inside of Sweepy's head. Brittany made the robot's eyes out of PVC pipe and she made some foam inserts that held the lights that we used. She also sanded and glued in some blue and green acrylic plastic inside these tubes to color and diffuse the light. The LEDs were fed through the sockets in the helmet and then they were snugged into the foam inserts inside of the eyes. A touch of super glue secured them into place and then the tubes were pressed into the sockets. I hot glued the battery holder in place on the inside rear part of the helmet. Then the blink switch was screwed into a small piece of styrene plastic and super glued into place near where Brittany could trigger it with her chin. Finally, all of the wires were run through the helmet and connected, completing the eye lighting circuit. Now I'll go ahead and tidy up all of those wires later on when I install everything for the voice modulator, but that's gonna have to wait until next week's video. For now, Sweepy's eyes light up and they blink, and I think that's just great. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you haven't already, go check out the rest of the Sweepy robot videos that Brittany's been putting together. They're really good. And look for Sweepy and me, I'll be in Lord Shacks, at Dragon Con this year. I'll also have my old man Logan costume on. Hey, hopefully this was a good beginner LED video for anyone out there looking to add that kind of flair to their next costume. As always, all of the stuff that we use will be linked down in the description. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. There are a few more videos coming out in the Sweepy the Robot series, so if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you mash that button so you don't miss those. Plus, we got a ton more prop and costume making tutorial videos coming out in the near future. That's all I've got for you guys today. Gotta get to work on some other parts of this helmet here. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you all in the next build. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.